I think at times I really wanted to close my eyes. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and hope you all are doing well. And you know how there are certain films that you absolutely cannot miss, but when you watch it, they scar you completely. Window Talai Part 1 is that film. Vetri Maran delves into a cinematic narrative which a lot of mainstream directors wouldn't dare to explore. This movie in a nutshell depicts the clash between a rebel group and the police forces where the rebel group does not want any intrusion uh, of the government as well as any kind of conglomerate that will come into the forest and exploit their natural resources. The police deployed there on the other hand have the single point agenda of capturing the rebel leaders and not surprisingly this clash leads to a lot of violence. The narrative itself has a lot of nuances because of the complexity of the socio-political atmosphere that is being portrayed in the film. You have the perspective of the government, then the perspective of the police, then the rebels, and then the civilians. All the decision-making by each and every counterpart here is very much interconnected and the way Vetri Maran was able to portray this kind of complexity in a very simple yet effective manner through his writing and direction just blew my mind away. The movie is extremely graphic when it comes to portraying the brutality and certain scenes are very very painful to watch. The opening shot of this film is a single take train accident incident and the way it has been filmed and depicted with such perfection that I wanted it to get over ASAP because it was making me so damn I am uncomfortable. But that just goes to show how effective is the storytelling. One thing about Vetri Maran that I love is how effectively he does his world building and character sketches. I was come completely immersed into this world and I got extremely invested in Suri's character, Kumarasan. The first part essentially establishes Suri's character where we see how he has certain principles that he follows and no matter what, he would never ever deter from them. The way he never oversteps his boundaries with the senior officials while putting forth his point but he stands his grounds no matter what is portrayed exceptionally well. The depiction of the immense pressure that the police force deployed in that particular area has to face because they have to capture the rebel leaders in a limited amount of time and how they resort to literally every tool that is disposed to them, how they resort to any means necessary is painfully real. The level of brutality that the police resorts to on the villagers because of suspicion will just make your skin crawl. Part 1 of this film mostly focuses on the very detailed and meticulous planning and strategizing on the side of the government and the police force. Gotham Menon's entry into the storyline also adds an interesting touch. We do get to see the story of the People's Army as well though not in much detail because I feel that that has been saved for the part two. In terms of characters, we know that there are two main characters here. One is Suri and another one is Vijay Setupati. But part one majorly focuses on Suri. There is an extended cameo by Vijay Setupati and I will talk about the performances later but let me just tell you, his entry was met with loud cheers and clapping. I don't think I've mentioned that I actually watched the film in a packed house full theatre. And Vijay Setupati's character introduction is so freaking impactful because of how Vetri Maran built up the entire narrative. The attention to detail with which Vetri Maran builds the entire cinematic world as well as all of his characters, negative or positive, you really feel invested. Do let me know if you would like a spoiler talk for this film because I feel there's a lot, a lot to discuss, not just about the entire story, but individual characters as well. Now, before I hop into the performances, I really need to appreciate the technical aspects of this film. Starting with the cinematography, I already mentioned you the opening sequence of the train accident exceptionally well shot and not just that one sequence but the entire movie has been shot very beautifully. Of course kudos to the makers also because they went into an actual forest to shoot this film and because of that the shots look so 
so freaking beautiful, cinematic, and very real. The ending chase sequence between Vijay Sethupati and his gang and the police forces, which is led by Suri, it's so freaking thrilling. You know, all the shots with those narrow alleyways, you would feel that you are actually a part of the chase. The music and BGM, I was very, very particularly looking forward to it because it was Ilya Raja sir and he did not disappoint. Though for me in a movie like this, even though the songs are nice, but I think that even if the movie did not have the songs, it would have been fine. There's just two songs and I know they are there to add that commercial value, but honestly it was not required like personally i would have not wanted it the score is also very impactful it's not your usual dark gritty bgm it is dark but it has a different melody and uniqueness about it and expect nothing less from like a maestro like Ilya Raja sir. Edit wise personally I was quite okay with the pacing and whatever scenes have been put to narrate this story though I feel for some viewers specifically the love story portion between Suri and Bhavni maybe they would feel that okay they're showing way too many scenes which is not required but for me particularly you know that ending scene where Suri goes to Gotham and then pleads that please uh, leave all the villagers like they're really torturing the villagers i feel his emotions the way the emotions have been ported because he's so scared for her i could feel that emotion i could feel that impact and that's because of how detailed wise the love story was shown because i personally felt that the entire romance angle was crucial to the narrative now coming to the performances i have been told that suri as an actor has been mostly used for comedic relief like he's a comedy actor so a lot of people were excited to see him in this role now i have not witnessed it or maybe I have and I don't remember but forget about everything in this film he was like literally shouldering the entire movie from start to finish this is his movie through and through he has shined completely other actors also did well but what Suri brought to the table it was something else then Vijay Setupati has an extended cameo and I feel that his origin is going to be explored in part two but in whatever part he's there in this part he owned the screen. I will be very much looking forward to part two and to see what his origin story is. But Vijay Setupati is just so intimidating in this movie and I love that. I mean the guy doesn't even have to try to be intimidating. It's just his just screen presence is enough. Pavni Shri was also really good in the film and in fact I really liked her chemistry with Suri. All the other actors also performed really well especially the actor now I do not know his name please let me know in the comments the one who played the circle inspector who was completely making Suri's life hell I really really liked him. In the end I would like to say that this is definitely not everybody's cup of tea but I would like for a lot of people to watch it because it's a very well-made film it's an important film not a lot of directors actually attempt this kind of filmmaking and uh, Vetri Maran did not hold back because there's a lot of brutality that has been shown and it will really really make you sad uh, but yes if you if you don't like it if it makes you uncomfortable then do not watch it and that was the review for Vedu Talai part 1 directly Directed by Vetri Maran. Oh, and I forgot to mention uh, because it was written that it's based on a novel. So I actually did not know that it is actually based on a novel. So very glad that it has been adapted so well by Vetri Maran. If anybody has read the novel, please let me know uh, how similar or different it is from the original source material. And yes, with that, I will end my review here. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and I will see you soon on my next video. Bye.